Labour have called on Education Secretary Gavin Williamson to act urgently as thousands of angry students said they felt they had wasted thousands of pounds going to university amid the coronavirus crisis teenagers have been denied traditional rites of passage such as Freshers' Week because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Student leaders called for lectures, seminars and tutorials to go online to help prevent the spread of disease. But some teenagers said they would have been better off staying at home to learn over the internet. Others demanded rent refunds after self-isolating. More than 500 cases have been confirmed at at least 32 universities, with up to 4,000 students ordered to quarantine for 14 days. Labour called for Education Secretary Gavin Williamson to end his Invisible Man Act and act to get better testing in place so youngsters, so they can begin enjoying university life. Education Secretary Gavin Williamson is braced for another mauling from MPs when he delivers a common statement on the latest shambles. Students spoke of their disappointment at how the start of term has unfolded. Reading University Zoology student Neve Thrippleton admitted, It's been a lot different to what I expected. We are not allowed to go out, Freshers is all online. We are, we think, only meant to socialize with our flats, but it hasn't really been made clear. It's been a lot quieter and hard making friends, and turning up and realizing everything is going to be online is a bit of an anticlimax. Close quote. She told the BBC she was braced for remote lectures while sitting in her bedroom for the foreseeable. You'd think it would be quite a lot of lab work, and it's kind of worrying how we're going to do that online, she said. Asked if she was getting what she paid for, she said, No, not at all. You'll pay full fees for an online course which I could have done at home. Really, the social aspect has gone now. Neve sympathized with students at other universities who have been forced to quarantine. She added, being in your room on your own for two weeks with no freedom, I don't think I'd be able to cope with that. Close quote. Her stepdad Chris Taplin said, It certainly robbed her of the experience that I had at university. Close quote. Freshers at Manchester Metropolitan University blasted their experience. Around 1,500 students are being asked to not leave their flats and self-isolate following an outbreak. Isabella Hudson, a first-year fashion promotion student, said, You feel like you are wasting your money. You can do a remote course, the whole thing for like £2,000. At the moment I feel like I'm throwing my money down the drain for no reason. Close quote, she added. We only went to one freshers event, and it was awful obviously. We're a house of 12, so we were split into two groups, and it was so bad we actually wanted to get kicked out. We've all been stuck in our accommodation, and luckily we all get along, but some people don't at all. They're just sat in a tiny room by themselves. Samuel Case. 18, said, we weren't expecting university life to be the same, but there's no social aspect at all. I've not had chance to meet any of the other boys in here because we're not allowed to socialize. My sister came here last year and she said every night everyone was outside socializing, all the flats knew each other. That just hasn't happened at all. I'm a bit worried that I paid £6,000 when I could have just done it online, lived at home, and then moved in in my second year. 
close quote. Nyan Morrow, 19, said students were alerted by email they would have to self-isolate, but an hour after there was just a security guard on the gate telling us we couldn't leave. Close quote. Natasha Kutcherik, 18, said students were initially stressed and panicking, explaining the lockdown came a week after another one was abandoned after the university changed their mind. The university's vice chancellor, Professor Malcolm Press, said, I recognize the impact that this situation is having on our students, particularly given the extremely short period of time we had to inform them of the decision. Many of them are away from home for the first time and still finding their feet. Their welfare is our top priority, and that is why we have been working hard with organizations around the city since Friday evening to put in place support to help during this 14-day period. Close quote. Students stuck in self-isolation will be given compensation of more than a week's rent, he added. Prof Press said a significant amount of money would be given, on top of a care package that includes basic food, to ensure students felt protected and cared for. The National Union of Students is promoting sessions on how to organize a rent strike, so students can stop payments for uni accommodation. The rent strike now grew tweeted. Are you a student angry? that your university is putting their profits over your health. Get organized and fight back. In a letter to Boris Johnson, the university and college union accused some institutions of adopting a stubborn position over requiring in-person teaching because they depended on rent from student accommodation. UQ General Secretary Joe Grady said the union was not prepared to take chances with the health of students, our members and the communities they serve. It is clear that remote learning should be the default for campus life, while we are in this precarious position with the virus, she said. However, what we are seeing on the ground is university employers hiding behind the government's current sectoral guidance, with all the ambiguities associated with the term blended learning. Close quote, she added. We have concerns that universities are taking this stubborn position because they depend on rents from student accommodation and because your own government refuses to step in and underwrite universities lost income for the duration of the pandemic to ensure they are not negatively impacted and jobs are not lost. Close quote NUS President Larissa Kennedy told ITV's Good Morning Britain I'm hearing from some students across the country, where there are security guards outside of these blocks, where students are being kept, stopping people from leaving, coming, and going, where students are being discouraged from getting deliveries and told by the university that they'll deliver food and that delivery has not arrived, and so they've gone for the day without food. I've heard from other students who have turned up with an amount of toilet roll, being told with no notice that they're going to be locked down and wondering where the next roll of toilet roll is coming from. It just feels like these are disgusting conditions for students to have been trapped in. Close quote. Students who feel they are getting a raw deal should complain to the watchdog, the regulator said. Office for Students Chief Executive Nicola Dandridge vowed, We can and will investigate if we believe that universities have not taken all reasonable steps to protect standards or where quality is slipping for groups of students. Close quote. Mr. Williamson is set for a roasting from MPs when he address Parliament. Shadow Education Secretary Kate Green said, after days of silence, the statement is a chance for the Education Secretary to end his Invisible Man Act and begin to get to grips with the situation. None of this was unforeseeable. 
Labour and others have warned that campuses would need access to testing. But, just as with the exams, fiasco over the summer, the Education Secretary has created chaos through his incompetence and failure to act. Gavin Williamson must set out what he is doing to resolve these problems and put young people and parents' minds at rest. Close quote amid rising fear students could be forced to stay at universities over the festive period, the Prime Minister's spokesman said, we would expect all students to be able to go home at Christmas. Close quote.